I got a new suit. suit right so I've been running the Sedici suit I don't know what model whatever one was the cheapest at cycle gear like three years ago uh, I've and I've been using it twice a month I'd say on average for the past three years knock on wood never crashed in it I went ahead and splurged on a RST suit with an in-motion airbag system. Now the in-motion airbag system is in a lot of different suits. Uh, it also is featured in the climb vests. Uh, so it's, it's got a lot of data, it uses GPS and um, a lot of different sensors inside along with the battery to detect a crash as it's happening. So hopefully it deploys before you hit the pavement. Uh, the in-motion airbag has different modes um, by default it comes up with a road mode. This is for regular street riding um, and each one of these modes has different parameters. Uh, now you can purchase additional modes for a subscription fee or the base mode costs a base subscription fee of I believe it was 120 for a year. Now each mode that you get on top of that uh, is significantly cheaper than that. Um, I believe it's $25 a year to add a adventure mode, which is designed for off-road use. And um, then there is the track mode that is designed for closed course racing. Now the track mode is not available in, in the United States. So when I got the suit and I went to activate it, it was a pain. All right, so I've been on the phone with In In Motion for like two hours. <laughs> uh, this RST suit I bought with the In Motion airbag is not approved for track mode or race mode in the United States. So I had to do quite the workaround. Huge shout out to the New York reps over at In In Motion helping me get this done because I had a race this weekend. Actually, I'm going to be a little late now, but that's okay. Luckily for me, I had a lot of help from a very nice gentleman, um, and he kind of walked me through an, a setup for the airbag that would allow it to work in track mode in America. Now, he did mention that In In Motion has to recommend not using the track mode in America as it hasn't been approved by whatever organization approves safety gear for on-track use. But nevertheless, we got it working, so we're going to see how it does out of the track. All right, so whenever I get a new suit, I put this on it. It's actually for baseball gloves, but it's meant to break in the leather a little bit better. Put about a quarter size of it on your hand, rub it around and get it on the leather. Get it in all the stitching, it'll definitely make the suit flex better right off the bat. Wipe it down with a cloth when you're done. Don't it look sexy? Alright, <clears throat> sorry for the poor audio quality, I'm just using the GoPro's mic. So we're going to turn on the suit, this is the brain and the battery pack. So, we have an app called My In and Box. This is switch to on, and then you double tap the power button, turns red, makes some beeps. Now we're on here, 100% battery. Inflator not detected, because it's not in, it's in track mode. Now let's plug it in and see what it says once it's plugged in. Okay, so, to plug it in, I'm gonna 
just open the suit and then reach down towards the uh, towards the butt part of the suit and you'll feel the bottom of the spinal protector. That spinal protector is where it clips into. Flip it out. It's not hard. I'll show you guys. And then right here is where this is going to clip. So you got some divots on the top and the bottom. And you see right here where it says insert. You're going to line it up with the unlock. And then you're just gonna use this thumb grip and click it into the locked position. Bada bing, inflator detected. App shows we're good to go. In and box is active, airbag system is ready. Track, 100% battery, inflator, good to go. And then once that's done, we just flip the back protector back. Put it right back inside. Bada bing. Let's get her on. on the inner knee is really good. I can pull the bike in right here to the apex. And then when I switch, the back panel is very nice and loose on my butt and my lats. And right here it allows me to get my arm nice and low and pull it into the apex. Switch back over, you know? I don't know. Suit's good, dude. Suit's good. All right, so I'm home from North Carolina. Uh, we got done with the race, wearing the new RST suit, won my class, great time. But I noticed in all of the trackside footage I did, I never talked about the price or a couple of the quirks that you are going to have to work through if you decide to get this suit. So first of all, you can get this suit for around $1,300 US, but you're going to have to order it from overseas. Now when I got mine here, I had to deal with imports for about a week back and forth because they were requesting information because it was labeled as a medical device. Also the knee pucks. 
normally the knee pucks on almost any brand of racing suit will have the soft side of the velcro on the suit and the rough side of the velcro on the actual knee puck so when you put them together they stick for whatever reason rst did this the opposite the rough side of the velcro is on the suit so most brands of knee puck will not stick to the suit you have to buy the RST brand or have ones made from a company like Wiz. An easy workaround is to just get a piece of Velcro that's the soft side and attach them to one another so it's soft on both sides and stick that to the suit and now you can put any puck on it. Either that or you're taking your brand new suit to a leather tailor and having a different type of Velcro put on. But other than that, the suit was great. The fit was perfect for reference. I'm six foot, 160 pounds. Uh, I got a size 42. The length of the arms and legs are perfect. The chest and abdomen area fits a little more snug than the Sedici did. And the shoulders is where I noticed a very big improvement. The Sedici suit was kind of baggy on the upper arm and the shoulder pad was very big on the shoulders, which made me feel like I was brawling my motorcycle all the time this one was is much more slimline fit the hump on the back of the motorcycle is actually rather large which is nice a uh, little more of an aerodynamic effect and it helps you in the event of a fall you're less likely to roll because of that hump the back protector also is quite large you can actually see it through the leathers on some of the footage and despite having an airbag system this suit weighed exactly the same as my old Sedici, which was 13.1 pounds. So I'm going to leave you guys with some still images of my old suit and the new suit side by side so you guys can see the difference. Also, one picture of the pucks after the race. I had used them during practice all day and they're actually pretty soft so they wore out pretty fast. I had to flip them and uh, you'll see the result. And if you guys liked the video, this is the first trackside review I've done. So let me know in the comments if I should do more or if there's something in particular I should review. Come in here and let it dig. I should have downshifted. Just dragged out. <laughs> behind me anyways. Look at that. Fucking America in the sky right there, dude.